Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome if you are new. Today's video will consist of a home decor haul. I know that you've seen a lot of my content with me going into stores, shop with me videos, seeing some great finds. Well, today's the day that I share some of those finds with you. Off topic, do y'all see this? Yes, this is my natural hair. It is thriving. It is getting thicker and longer and I'm loving it. For those that do not know that I'm on the natural hair journey. So excuse the big poof today, but we're gonna make her work. All right, so let's get started. My first find, are you ready for it? Are you ready? Yes, it is the sculpture, the sculpture. I was unable to find this beautiful thing in any of my home good locations. So when I did some research, I found one on Wayfair. Now, at the time of my research, it was sold out on Wayfair and said that it would be back in stock on a specific day. Well, as that day continued to get closer, the date would extend out. And I'm like, man, they're not going to get this back in stock. But lo and behold, the other day, my email dinged and it said, guess what? Your item is back in stock. Yay! Yay! So that's what I have. This beautiful baby. I love it. Um, my plan is to paint it black so that it is cohesive with the other elements in my home. Right now, my style is monochromatic, so I have a lot of the nudes, different shades of gray, blacks, whites, and a little bit of the rattan or wheat color. So I'm really super excited about this. All right. So this next piece I'm really super excited about. I also got a notification for it that it was back in stock. And I just got so excited that I checked out so fast that I didn't ship it to my home. I had to ship to the store. <laughs> but that's okay, because I still got it. We have the lovely Studio McGee knot. Isn't it gorgeous? Yay, I finally got one. So excited. Um, I know that a lot of them come in different textures and different colors. This one is more of a nude color. It doesn't have a lot of texture to it, but I absolutely love it. Yes. All right. My next find comes from TJ Maxx. And I'm a DIY person. I wouldn't say I was the DIY person, but I am a DIY person and I saw potential in this vessel here. I was very attracted to the shape and I was like, I have got to purchase this. And it was only $16. We have a lovely vessel. It was made in Mexico, handcrafted. My intentions for it is to paint it a matte white and maybe do a DIY with some black colored sand to kind of age it a little bit. So this is gonna be really exciting to do this one. I'm very excited to see how it will come out. My next piece is also a favorite and I found this in Marshalls. It is the Stacked Rocks. I absolutely love these. They go great with the aesthetic in my home. I have always been attracted to these, but when I got on Amazon, some of them are very expensive. Going into Marshalls and seeing these for $9.99, oh, I almost had a fit. I was so excited to purchase this, and it gives off an earthy vibe type tone, and I really love that, and I'm really excited for this find. So visit Marshalls if you also like them. They have them for very inexpensive prices. So this next vessel I purchased from Tuesday morning, and I also fell in love with it. It is a cracked vessel. I found it in the kind of garden section area. I love the oblongness of it, how it's a different shape, and now how it has texture to it. It's really different, and I like different, so it has a flat bottom. 
okay? And that flat bottom just helps it to sit the way that you want it to, just depending on where you want to put it. And my plans for this little baby is to paint her black and I might do some greenery coming out of it. I might do some of my beads. I might do another DIY on the beads and put them in there and come out of it. But I really love this vessel, my goodness. The texture, it just has so much appeal. And I'll probably either sit this on one of my counters or on my shelf. I haven't decided yet, so. The next item I found in Home Goods. I know that in a lot of my Shop With Me videos, you've probably seen this knot. Yes, the beautiful Home Goods knot. <laughs> I believe this knot is a CBT dupe. I but saw this knot so many times in my Shop With Me videos. And I just, that last time I was just like, you know what? I just felt like it was calling my name. So just pick it up, sis. And I did, I got it. She actually looks really great. Um, on my shelf. In a previous video, I did a styling of my shelf with a DIY from Pottery Born, and that's the shelf that I stuck this baby on. So, check out that video as well. Okay, the next item is this lovely candle. It is a candle from Michaels. I actually did not purchase this. This was a gift to me, but it's coconut milk and lemongrass. It smells delicious. And they actually had a sale at the time that this was got for me as a gift. I love the aesthetic of it. It looks really, really good with the white and then it has the cream tan-like lid. So that goes really good in my home as well. And I have two of those. Okay. This next vessel I purchased from Pottery Born. And isn't she lovely? Oh my goodness. I had to purchase two of them. So at the time, Pottery Born was having a sale that was 20% off and I ended up getting these for about $14 a piece and I absolutely love them. They go with the aesthetic in my home with the different shades of gray that I have and I like the shape of the vessel. So right now I have them situated on my on the opposite ends of my TV stand. That may change. I'm always changing things. I love home decor. This next item I found at, at home. And glass vessel. Isn't that just gorgeous? So my intentions for this is to create a DIY with it. So I know that you see the acrylic flowers around the outside. The plan is to get some alcohol or acetone and remove that acrylic and maybe do a Pottery Born dupe with it. I might do the method with the baking soda and paint again for it. Or I might just spray paint it a different color. But I just fell in love with the appeal of this and the shape. So I'm really getting into shapes. I know some people, you know, they kind of stick to all squares and all circles with me. I don't mind mixing it up. I mix up all shapes. It's just whatever I like and then I make it work for me. The next item I have are some coffee table books. I purchased these from Amazon and they were maybe like $13 a piece. Very inexpensive. They're a little bit thin. I didn't want all of my coffee table books to be the same size. I wanted to add a little bit of dimension and you can do that by purchasing different size of books when it comes to width and when it comes to um, the color. You can also remove the cover and it gives you this really textured neutral color. It almost looks like the linen. So I really love that. I purchased two of them right now. I also have them on my TV stand. The other one is similar. I didn't get two of the same kind. That one's a different name, but it's still about the same price, about 13 bucks. So we have that. So my next item is more vessels. These are smaller. I purchased them at, at home and I'm really not into a lot of small vessels, but right now I have plans on creating this look on my island in the kitchen. And I didn't want anything really big on the tray that I plan to situate everything on. Stay tuned, there will be a video for that. But I purchased these small vessels from at home, really little. I got two in different sizes to kind of give it a little bit of dimension when I have it in that tray. I might leave them white. I might paint them another color, but right now I'm just liking them white. 
I also have the monochrome home coffee table book. I absolutely love the aesthetic of this book as well. Very, very, very cute book. Um, it has shades and different tones of gray, white, tan. Right now I have it in my foyer sitting under a vase. Okay. And with that one, I also have the For the Love of White coffee table book. And this one is the one that I have stacked with the previous book that you just saw. It is also in my foyer on the entryway table. And I absolutely love it. It's one where you can also remove the cover. And you have this black and white linen type look. I absolutely love it. I also purchased this from Amazon. So really excited. All right, so I'm still in the process of changing my home around, putting things the way that I like them. There will be future videos on how I style different parts of my home. I just know that I've been doing a lot of shop with me videos and I just wanted to stop, take a minute, just to show you some of the good finds that I have been securing at different stores. Um, I will continue with the shop with me videos right now. My biggest thing is looking for some curtains. So if you have any suggestions or tips or places that you like, that have really nice quality curtains, please let me know. So that's it for my haul today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the finds just as much as I did. Stay tuned for future content as I will be doing additional DIYs, especially with some of the finds that I had today and placing them around my home. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you like these kind of videos so that you do not miss any future content. See you soon. Bye.